Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 5 of our Gong Sun Zan Romance of Three Kingdoms 2L Let's Play. I'm your host, Kane Drago. I have edited my screen since the last batch of episodes, but I did not happen to have a Twitch logo handy. There, one did come with the layout that I took those of the symbols from, but I don't have it saved anywhere anymore. Um, so rather than try and copy and paste and create a whole new layout and everything, I just wrote Twitch. Search Kane Drago, all one word, on Twitch, and you will find me. So, we are bab now back to this for now. Can't buy any arms, but I think I already bought them for most people, didn't I? Yeah, I did that before. Okay, cool. No. Reward. Thank you. <coughs> Pardon me. Let's top up Fang G. Yeah, we're gonna hire with Juan Z. I'm not gonna fill this place. I can't anyway, because I don't have money, but I'm also not going to anyway. But I am going to hire 58 to get an even 700. And dole them out accordingly. Excellent. Then we'll top uh, top the people's loyalty back up with everyone else. I just realized I have like no rice here. Wow. Um, okay. Top up Mao G. Don't really need gold there, but I'll send a hundred rice. That'll leave these guys three hundred for their three hundred soldiers. And I'll just train with the last guy. Oops. Seventy nine. Province 1 doesn't really have anything they can send. I mean, they can send 75, I guess. Technically. Which might actually be worth doing because I have so many soldiers there. They're good there. Let's do flood control. Let's do a hundred, because I don't have all three guys. <coughs> Alright. So, the good news is Cow Cow shouldn't attack me because he's a coward. Excuse me? Did you just try to steal my goddamn general, you piece of shit? Is Liu Bei gonna be the next one I have to take out? Is that a thing that's gonna happen? Cause it'll be tough, but I got the guys to do that. I, I got enough guys I can do it with. It'll suck, but I can do it. Where the hell is Guan Yu? Who's got Guan Yu if he doesn't? Um, excuse me?
Son of a bitch, I should probably check. He might actually have rewarded him. He probably did, actually. No, 73. I don't care about Mi Fang. He's got okay war, but he's got shit everything else, and he's a turncoat. I can buy horses. So I'm actually going to buy five horses. I rarely do that, but in this case I'm going to do it because I think it might, it might give me better luck with recruiting him. Maybe not. Well, let's try this then. Let's try a letter. He is pretty smart. With Wan Xiao. Or not. He's only got 73 loyalty. He should join. And he hates cow cows. So he should join me. I don't know why he's not. Fine. Let's try this then. Because I want him. Yeah! He's had to fight in the right combination. Nice! One reward and he's 100 loyalty. Excellent! And he had 35 soldiers. That are fully trained and armed. Now, because he's only at 35, he could have 36 arms, and that would count as 100 for display purposes. But still, that's not the point. I don't have anybody left, do I? No. I used everybody to try to recruit him. It's alright. I have enough rice to last most of a month if anybody happens to be stupid enough to attack me. If I put out five, I can put out more guys as a defender than an attacker, but if I just stick with the normal f five, then, or I could just put out less than 500 and then it wouldn't matter. I'll put out three, I'll put out three or 400. Cause I have almost, I have 375 rice, so. Goddamn bows in. There we go. Getting there. I said none of these places are huge, especially when I in hire soldiers in them and the population drops. But it generally most of the way replenishes every January because I don't usually hire a ton at a time. And I have enough soldiers for the next attack or two that I don't that I don't need to hire any more in any of these places. Chen Gong, it'd be nice to get my hands on, but. He's not, he's not important enough I'm going across the map for him. Excuse me. <coughs> the expansion of the Sun family continues. Big Zhong He in Province 15 might be plotting something. Shocking. I am shocked. I am absolutely gobsmacked that a turncoat would uh, would have thoughts of being a turncoat. Yeah, he has 35 arms. But now he has a real 100 arms. not the greatest cost in the world, but I'm going to do it anyway.
I? Because I have gold I can spare at the other places. That's still not as much as I meant to buy. Oh well, it's close enough. I'm gonna reassign some soldiers. You know what? I think I'm gonna give him the 35 for now, even though he's a couple points higher than Wan Chang, because Inping isn't one of the biggest turncoats in this game, but I have had him turn on me a, a memorable amount of times. Is the training done? Yeah, it is. So let's do the big one point of flood control. Good. Now, I don't really have race to give right now, but I'm going to give a little bit anyway. Because it's with three guys in that small of a place, I can have most of what I need and still get everything full, and I want it full. Not land, flood. There. I now have as good of a chance to get as much stuff at harvest time as possible. Oh yeah. Really, Joe Kang switch sides. Well then. I think I might actually take Liu Bei out. I was thinking about going through Cao Cao first. But I don't want to let Liu Bei build up too much more. And I'm pretty sure if memory serves, it's been a while since I played. I'm pretty positive that even though Guan Yu, especially, and also to a slightly lesser but still important degree, Zhou Yun, are fo known followers of him in real history, so they do have more loyalty to him to start with when they, when they work for him. They're both honorable as well, so they usually, they don't generally turn on you. Um, so yeah, that's probably a thing that's going to happen. No one's loyalty dropped again. So that's good. So. Assuming that's the case. I'm going to move. Zhou Yun, Guan Yu, Zhou Tai. And Wan Xiao. That'll leave me 335 soldiers here to protect with which is plenty. That'll leave me a full month's worth of rice. And we should be good to go. Now I can't attack this turn, obviously. But for what I'm actually planning to attack with, which is going to be Guan Yu. Basically, just going to use those four, probably. Actually, I am just going to use those four to be safe. Because with Guan Yu and Zhou Yu and Zhang Fei should go down pretty easily. Huang Gai is there, and Gao Lan's not terrible. But they're not fully trained, and Zhang Fei. Hong Gai has weapons, and Gao Lan has weapons, but Zhang Fei really doesn't. So yeah, that shouldn't be too much of a problem.
Everyone here has weapons. Everyone's pretty good for loyalty. The province is built. Those three technically could use some training. Lovely. Maybe I'll reward somebody just to top it up, but I don't also don't want to mess with it if they're not dropping. Sometimes I find if I reward them, that's when they drop again. It's fine. I don't have any rice, so that one point will have to stay as is. Yeah, we're good. I think this month is harvest. sit tight for this turn. Forgot Joe Yun's still my advisor. Joe Tai dropped a couple points. Okay. So we're good for this turn. We're good for this turn. Now it's harvest time. Which means it's time to go stomp some ass. rioting in the shitty provinces. I mean, realistically, other than population, none of the provinces have to be shitty, but you actually have to build them, which the computer usually doesn't. Now, one good thing about him constantly asking me for joint invasions on 7 and never doing them. Um, it reminded me, Cow Cow has 3 trust, that's hilarious. Uh, it reminded me that I had an alliance with him that I needed to break. So, I'm going to view from here. What do you have? You are basically full for soldiers. They're slightly more trained. And Wang Kai, if he didn't already, has fully armed, and, but they're not still only two thirds, or two thirds or three quarters trained. And Liu Bei himself, plus Zhang Fei, does not have weapons, which is the most important part. So we are taking him out this turn. Xinping can have a horse because he's an asshole and dropped in loyalty. We're good there. Blue Boo strength is unequal. No kidding. You don't say. None of the guys I'm invading with dropped. That's good. Lee Dian slightly dropped, so I'll give him 50 gold. Double check, I was... yeah. Okay. We'll do an in-game save. There we go. Yes, I am currently using an emulator for this. I own the game. Me and my brother have owned two or three copies of it over the years, but I don't have any way to record that. Theoretically, there are ways to record Super Nintendo, but I do not have them at the moment. Could take Lee Dian too, but I want to leave a good amount of soldiers here. Um, yeah, we'll go with Joe Yun. 
Guan Yu or Zhou Yun is about equal anyway. Take like 500 gold, I guess. And we're going to take 653 should be plenty. This will lose a few soldiers during the fight. And more importantly, they're going to lose a lot of them during the fight. Well, I'm going to probably have to reload this. Although not necessarily. He could get lucky and beat him or tie him. And even if he does lose, I might still try it and see how it goes. Because Guan Xiao is the lowest of my four guys. He's actually doing pretty well. They tied, so there you go. A tie is fine. Um, obviously him pulling out a lucky win would have been cool, but I'm fine with that. I'm going to move him up there. Just so he's harder to get to. And so it's easier to get Wan Xiao into the fourth spot. That's Zhang Fei, right? Yep. Uh, I'm not going to bother moving in because it's annoying to reposition. They, he'll Hopefully he'll come to me. He did not. Okay. So he'll have to sit tight for a turn. Now I'll reposition. <coughs> Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do at all. It's alright, we can make it work. This means Wan Xiao will help the, help him start to wear down the other guy. With Zhang Fei not having weapons, it's not going nearly as rough as it could anyway, so... Although I do uh, would like to have the fourth guy there just to help surround him more so he doesn't get away, but whatever. He still might get away. Oh, he moved, so there you go. Interesting choice. Not the worst choice, be, being Zhang Fei, but not still not the one I would have gone with. I'm just going to leave him there, actually, because then if he tries to charge him again, he won't break through. And that's probably the best use of him right now. Plus, there's now a three-way attack on one guy as well. Now, Huang guy is fully armed, so that's a little bit... Even though he's not as high a war, he's still very high, so that could be a little rough, but shouldn't be too bad with four guys. And it's just about time to, for Zhang Fei to run away. Actually, he can't run away. There's nowhere for him to run to. this over with. Thank you. Oh look, we already have the four-man teams set up. So this is going to be a slightly longer episode because I decided to do the fight during this episode. So I didn't want to go another full episode without having something action-based happen. I mean, there's a lot of planning and stuff that goes into this game, that's just the way it is. Unless you're power running it, but 
which I'm not really doing. I'm not going out of my way to make it take long on purpose, but I'm also not speed running in any way. Joe Yun did take a little bit of a pounding, but still not that bad considering what he's been the who he's been fighting. Thank you. That was dumb. Yeah, and that guy is neither none of these guys are anywhere near as good as either of those guys. The two guys I already fought. Gal lands the closest. He should still not be doing that much damage though. I don't care how many arms he's got. Might as well just move them, cuz. Fuck it. Wang Kai's a bum. That's a little annoying. But I'm going to do way more damage than he, than they are, so... As you can see, Liu Bei was not proper... Even with the castle underneath him, he's... Liu Bei is decent when he's only 70 war and doesn't have all of his training or any weapons. Two out of those three guys are complete garbage compared to Zhou Yun. Gao Lan still really shouldn't be doing as much damage as he is, but... He still came out on the losing end anyway, so it doesn't really matter. There. Wang Kai can die, I don't care. He's garbage. Ha <laughs> ha, I pulled you into the fire. Uh -huh, you can't move out of the fire. Okay, now you can. I win. Yes, please. Yes, please. I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna. T I'm pretty much gonna take everybody right now. I would take Liu Bei, except you literally can't recruit them. You have to threaten them, and Liu Bei is one of the three kingdoms that you cannot threaten any ruler in. 
far as I know. Maybe if he made somebody ruler that wasn't a relative, you might be able to. But certainly anybody... Oh, I got the Black Dragon. Awesome. The Zhongfei and Honggai have the highest loyalty out of everybody in that group. Could give it to Wan Xiao to bump his war higher. Yeah, what the hell? Let's give it to him. Now, I got a low end for it. It only gave him five. Sometimes it'll give you as much as like 12 or 13, but that's okay. Still put him uh, still put him above 85, so. <coughs> Pardon me. So we'll finish out this turn. That's that's gold. So let's see how we did anyway. 74 and 62 probably should have gave it to Wong Guy really when I think about it. But that's all right. Well, <laughs> giving it to Zhang Fei would have been pretty much pointless because he only would have gotten one point. The loyalty would have been nice, but province is, ha is small but half decent. For is all pretty well built, which is nice. I said all the top, pro most of the top, all well, all the top four provinces are small. Tai Shi Ji, you say? Might have to look into that. That would be a nice addition. Since he's not working for Sun Se anymore, hopefully he'll be easier to steal. I assume he's in 10? Or 19, rather? Yeah, he is. Oh, he got Zhu Shu <coughs> as well. It was very good. Tai Shi Ji is currently my target. 72. Anyone here particularly disloyal all of a sudden? No. Let's see if we can make it down there. Damn it. Oh, I got my horse back, though. So I can try again. Son of a bitch. <coughs> just to humor myself, since I got one guy left I can try it with this turn. I doubt it's going to work with a letter and Feng G, but we'll see. If I even get there. Which I didn't. Okay, Wan Shu's got to die. I already knew Wan Shu had to die, but Wan Shu's really got to die. I didn't mean to say no to that, but that's okay. Perfect. Oops. I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to buy weapons here, here again anytime soon, so we're doing it now. And I guess this guy can give to the people, because why not? There. 
So, once I get to the start of my next turn, I'll stop that, because I already did a turn getting to, uh, trying to get to ICC. It's fine for now. I'm not honestly sure if this emulator uses in-game saves and save states or not. I know some of them do. But anyway, we'll be back shortly with another episode. I'm your host, Kane Drago. Peace out.